Hi, Prowl One. Welcome to your reading. So this will be, what is your glow up? I just saw the Queen of Cups. Some more spiritual powers. More intuition. More psychic powers. Like having more power is over. Having more power and control over your psychic abilities and your emotions and your empathy. Yeah. With the page of sword with the page of swords and the star. Having more control, having more focus, having more energy, putting the right energy into the right things. Having better focus. When it comes to your spiritual gifts, your spiritual talents, your clairvoyance for sure, eight of wands for your glow up, how one. We got the hermit card. So some of you guys got Virgo in your chart. Don't have to be, but Virgo wanted to show up for you guys. So you guys might want to check out that house, that certain house, Virgo. To see how that represents for you. That might be something that you need to work on. The um, Virgo house. Which house is that? Which number? You guys can comment below to help me and more viewers with that. But I think for this pile, that's definitely significant. The Virgo house. The house in Virgo. So something you probably need to put more focus and more effort into with Eight of Wands. Sun. So Leo. Possibly that house as well needs work, or you could be a Leo or have Leo placements. Cancer, same thing with the Cancer, that your house in Cancer, or just that in general. Leo, Cancer, and Virgo is very significant in your glow up. So I feel like it's something that you've either improved on already, or it's something you need to continue to master those houses. But, um, I know Leo is like luxury, possessions, attention, uh, recognition, stardom. And then Cancer is kind of like comfort, luxury of like the home, um, what's important to you, humbleness, groundedness, and Virgo's like, hmm, I don't know too much about that, but about Virgo energy, that house. Three of Cups. I see you being really into yourself in a way that you've never been into yourself before. So I feel like you're just gonna be genuinely into yourself and what you're doing and not know what anybody else is doing. You don't care what anybody else is doing. You're not really caught up in the mix. You're not caught up in the drama. You're not focused on helping anybody else anymore. You're not focused on putting anybody else first. You're not focused on what Aaron is doing or what Aaron ate Saturday morning for breakfast on his story. Stuff like that doesn't concern you. You're no longer putting your time and effort and energy into that. You have better things you could be doing. You have better things you are doing. I see you exploring new people, new love interests, yeah. Your glow up is being interested in more, being interested in putting yourself out there and being interested in more possibilities. I feel like you are possibly stuck on a certain possibility or something certain to, you were stuck on something working out in maybe romantic, Maybe job, maybe career, maybe in all things you were like focused on one outcome or so focused on the way you wanted things to work out. But I feel like your glow up is realizing that whether it work whether it works or works out the way you pictured it in your mind or not, it doesn't really matter because it's gonna work out anyway. So it's gonna work out, but probably not how you like picture it in your mind. I don't know if that makes sense. 
but it's still working out in your favor. So that's going to help you move to the next level in your life. That is helping you move to the next level in your life with the chariot. It helps you get over like a hiccup really quickly. As if before you would kind of be stuck on it, overthinking, could I have done this better? Should I have said this? Should I have done that? You're gonna, you, you've gotten over that place in your life where you blame yourself and you blame others for their misfortunes and for their mistakes and for what you could have done. You could have done this differently. You could have done this better, but you're over that part of yourself. You let go of that part of yourself and your glow up is giving yourself grace with the chariot and giving others grace to move forward and to redeem themselves and to prove themselves worthy and to put effort into making their mistakes right. I'm not saying don't close doors on people who are genuinely manipulating you, but you already know better from what the Queen of Cups coming out. You already know who's genuine and who wants to make up for those mistakes and do better and show you better and it's breaking those patterns to show you better versus those who apologize with no actions and stuff like that. And that goes for career and romance and friendships with the Three of Cups. What is Power One's glow up? Hi. Oh, do it there. Sun. That my cat was underneath me. But oh, let's see. Sun. For your glow up yeah embracing it's like you have more grace for yourself and that's looking really good on you it makes you look really good it makes you look really happy it makes you it makes your perseverance more great like when you you have perseverance power one right you have a lot of perseverance i see that with the cards that have come out this shows a lot of perseverance in your journey and how you overcome things and how you handle battles in your life and misfortune and struggles and suffering and stuff like that. How you handle it. You have a lot of perseverance and endurance and a lot of strength. And I see that you giving yourself grace now. It's making... Um, those battles less sufferable. You get what I'm saying, Paul? One is making it is making the suffering less. Um, it's alleviating the suffering because I had got a download the other day where um, what came through is we all suffer. The goal, the goal is to find happiness inside of the suffering because everyone can't. Everyone is suffering in different ways we have our own different sufferings the the goal and the plot is to find happiness inside of the suffering during the suffering not to avoid suffering to that's when you're looking at life is oh life should be happy all the time that makes the suffering worse and that makes you avoid accountability. That makes you avoid suffering at all. So what are you doing? You're running from your shadow when you do this. Only to repeat, only to um, keep avoiding the shadow chasing you. Those demons are still there when you don't. Those struggles that the, um, whatever it is, is still looking for you. You know what I'm saying? But when you go through it, you handle it and you take accountability and you go straight inside of it instead of trying to go around it. And you're just like, uh, oh, storming. I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible. No, go through that shit. It's like finding the happiness. You find happiness in the, in the suffering. There's no way we can go around suffering. I'm suffering right now. 
in different ways. Other people are suffering. Everyone's suffering. It's not easy being here. So your glow of power one is just <laughs> being graceful. Yeah, high priestess. Hang man. That's double Pisces energy. Some of you guys could be a Pisces. As well as Leo placement came out a lot. Um... Yeah, it's like you're embracing this um, cycle that never ends. It only ends when you view it that way. I mean, we all have to cut ties with something um, at the end of the day. Um, but... That's why we believe there's an afterlife, right? Because the universe has revealed to us that it's never really an end to... Hmm. Something to do with that message. Yeah, it's like something, um, there's never really an end to self. How we got here was how we were supposed to get here. Who you are now, you couldn't have been who you are now without having that person, yourself, your old self making those mistakes going through those struggles, having people sleep on you, having people betray you, having people turn their back on you, having people sleep on you and your potential and not believing in your dreams, people trying to shatter your dreams, people trying to get in your way, distractions, um, hurt, evil, all of that. It's like you couldn't have been who you are now no matter how many times you try to tell yourself, I could have done better or I, could, I should have known better. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't talk to yourself that way and you shouldn't um, make yourself suffer more and try to punish yourself even more because of your past. Um, it's all of that is how you are the high priestess right now. So if you think about it, if you didn't go through none of that, you wouldn't have been the high priestess. Wouldn't you rather be who you are now? Because if you didn't um, learn those lessons, you would still be in those lessons. You would still be in those hard times. The, part, the important part, power one, is that you're here and you are who you are now. That's the only importance. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. That's that grace I was talking about, yep. With the Nine of Cups at the top of the deck. He looks proud of where he's at. He should be, because look at all these cups. We don't see how many cups have failed. We only see what has grown, and we only see his accomplishments. Excuse me, his accomplishments. But we, if you know what I know, and you know, and you look into this Nine of Cups card, you know that this person has to get here and to be this graceful with yourself and to be this abundant, you had to have failed many and many and many a times. He knows how it feels to be down on his ass. He knows how it feels to look in your corners and have nobody out there in the crowd. To be standing up there with courage by yourself. This is a very emotional pile. <laughs> wow. I always sometimes get emotional on these reads. <laughs> so 
So that's how he knows how it feels for somebody to show up. Who's genuine? To genuine have a something work out for you? It could be something small, but it's something very big with this Ace of Cups. Because you know how it feels to have your cups fall over, spill over. Or not have enough of something. Or not have the money for something. <laughs> or not, you know, just when you finally do get the blessing, it feels much more. You feel it differently than when you have something given to you. And that's feeling something, that's, that's finding the happiness and the suffering, that's not avoiding the suffering. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's strength. Yeah, that Nine of Cups knows how it feels to be in this Eight of Cups. But he didn't let that stop him or her. He, she didn't let that stop her. Because if she would have gave up right here, she wouldn't have been in the Nine of Cups. This is the Eight of Cups right here. You have that strength, power one. You have that endurance. Let's see what physical attributes of your girl wants to come out. So maybe that could be a Lib um, Libra. one's next or what's their glow up now tear it again mm, I'm seeing like updates on your car a new car <laughs> or um, decor for your car Uh, more better clothes, more clothes. Is your glove a better physique? If you've been working out, definitely your legs. Will look very, they're looking very juicy. Your booty's looking juicy as well. Changing your legs, changing your booty, and a change in your car, a new car. So a new body and a new car. <laughs> Let's see, what else wants to come through? For power one, scroll up. Seven of Cups. Becoming everybody's fantasy girl. A lot, a lot of guys, a lot of men fantasizing over you with the Seven of Cups. You being a lot of men's dream girl. A lot of men's dream girl, fantasy girl, whatever it is. It's like them wanting to come into court. You having a lot of options in love as well with the Seven of Cups. That's a lot of options in love. A lot of love interests wanting you deeply, wanting you really badly, fantasizing about you, having dreams about you, feeling a spiritual connection with you, pal. One, feeling like you guys are meant to be, feeling a soul-to-soul -soul connection with you, feeling very attached to you. 
even obsessed I see with the seven of cups because they feel like they love you day one yeah it's because of how good you look and because you're in this like fiery energy because of this Leo energy was coming out I feel like that's that's definitely because of like how powerful you are now and how you just look so fucking fire and so good doing it because you give yourself you move with grace you walk with grace you hold your head high even during your toughest battles or when there's things that aren't going your way things that are you know dark times or whatever but it's like you just it looks like you're not going through it the way you carry yourself now is just super graceful, super put together, and super just beautiful and elegant and classy. And just, you're just well mannered and well put together. I feel like it just looks, you wear it very well. That's why I'm getting a lot of you guys are switching up your wardrobe. You're buying nicer things that fit your body nice, especially if you've been gaining weight or losing weight. You're buying new wardrobe to fit your body better to fit your body more nicely um in the in the ways that you want it to so now that you're like going to the gym eating healthy doing whatever it is it's like you're buying clothes that to find your style again or to just find things that better suit you and your physique um yeah i also see some of you guys getting a lot of attention online is some of you guys glow up like because you've been working out and because you have been like putting a lot of time and effort into your looks your physical looks you're going to be receiving a lot of attention online a lot of hearts on your story a lot of people a lot of likes a lot of attention because you look significantly different and better than when people last saw you online so i see a lot of online dating as well but it's just like even to people in person that might have not seen you in a while or something like that throughout your um health journey or your workout journey your active journey or whatever um some of you guys even going to therapy as well has been helping with your physical looks like you just look more elegant like i'm saying you just look like you're like just beautiful inside and out but uh, a lot of people are going to you're going to receive a lot of compliments on how significantly different you look, Pile One. So this is confirmation that I'm doing right now, but you're going to get confirmation from other people that see your body, see your looks in person and, and online. So this could be Instagram, Twitter, social media, and stuff like that. But you're going to attract a lot of attention with that Knight of Wands and all this Leo energy that wanted to come out. The High Priestess, I feel like it's like the spiritual depth that you have. So a lot of people might view you as superficial and like one of those girls that are pretty but don't have depth to you but you have you have a lot of depth and um that's also going to be surprising to your love interest and this is going to make your love interest super obsessed with you because you have that depth to you but you also have like that super pretty like uh ditzy look but you're not that at all you're actually very very much psychic and very in tune and very aware so you have the best of both worlds in this pile so i'm very proud of you um i love you um thank you for coming to this reading i'm glad that this reading found you so if it did help you in this i guess situation please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on my next post hi pal two welcome to your reading so this will be your glow up oh my god something to do with physical looks already and some of you guys could be a fire so i don't have to be but what I'm really getting is like something to do with your looks for sure. A physical transformation. Some of you guys are going to the gym. Some of you guys are going to get cosmetic surgery. Some of you guys are going to get something done where you feel better and you look better. You look better because you feel better. Yeah, I think it's something like you put in hard work. So it definitely could be a lot of you guys because you're going to the gym. Or you're putting more 
focus and effort into your gym routine, your workout routine, even if it's just you working out from home because some of you guys just had a baby. So even you putting in the effort to have a um, at home workout schedule just to work out is putting in, um, it makes a difference. Even if you don't see it, you'll start to see it the more you have a routine with it. You know what I'm saying? You can't just work out. I mean, start off slow, especially if you did just have a baby, but you'll get through it is what, I'm, what you need to know. This 10 of wands. Or for some of you guys, you've been saving up for cosmetic surgery because you've had a baby. So this 10 of wands could just be like your savings. It was very hard to save, but you're going to get it. So if you're like putting away some extra cash now, you're going to eventually get the money that you need to have this this done to make yourself feel better about yourself so if it's hard right now to save and you feel like you're not saving as much money for this procedure you are going to get it with the ten of wands and it's going to be worth it because the queen of wands is here so you're definitely going to love the outcome so if you're worried about how the outcome will be don't worry about it even if you're working out and you feel like oh i don't look like her or my social like you know I was, like i follow a couple of, um influencers but it's like you it's like you probably have expectations of yourself but your body's gonna look a lot better than you feel like it's gonna look i don't know if that makes sense whether you're working out or it's or both some of you guys are gonna work out and get um procedures done or procedures done then like maintain it and work out but either way whoever i'm reading for you're gonna really really love the results so don't even worry about it don't compare yourself to how somebody else's body looks like because you're just gonna come out exactly, it's gonna come out good, very good. I think you're just worrying yourself a little bit too much about the outcome right now, when you needed to just be worrying about your routine with it, like keeping the consistency. Just go with it, go through with it. Keep going, literally keep going. It's the consistency you need to worry about, not the outcome. Don't worry about that right now. The consistency of it is going is go what's going to make it look good, really good. <laughs> Just you maintaining it, having that mindset of like, okay, I'm going to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Just having something like super strict or have the mindset of like, I'm not going to drink at all or I'm not going to eat this at all. Like, Just be super strict, even if you really, really want to. Just be consistent with it. I'm trying to tell you, like, just be strict on yourself. Like, it will be worth it with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, something to do with your physical appearance with the devil. I'm trying to tell you, you could have Capricorn in your chart. Yeah, the death. It's something transforming. It's something transforming with your looks. But like I said, with this devil, you got to be super obsessed with it. You got to be obsessed with what you see for yourself more obsessed with whatever you're doing. So it could be alcohol. It could be a bad habit of you not, you know, the bad habit of just you not embracing this consistency and this routine. But you got to be obsessed with this routine more than you're obsessed with going out, partying, the outcome of it. Oh, I want to look this way while I'm doing it. No, you got to look. You have to look all types of effed up in the process of doing it and then you'll get the results like you don't need to be worried about the results right now and obsessed with the results right now you need to be obsessed with the routine right now be super super be more obsessed with the routine than you are with the outcome i'm trying to tell you you need to fall in love with the process be obsessed with the process because the process is what's going to give you those results you need to pay attention to the process and how you're doing things and be obsessed with that because that's what's going to give you the results. Not being obsessed with the results and not paying attention with the process because then it's like the process is going to be half ass. You ain't going to be going as hard as you need to be going with the process and it's not going to give you the maximum results. You get what I'm saying? Like you want maximum results, but you're not going maximum with the routine. You're not going maximum with the consistency. You're not showing up at the max you need to be showing up at the max for those max results that you're needing and wanting so if you're saving up money for a procedure you need to be working hard you need to be putting in long hours you need to be putting in dedication you need to be putting in the effort to be getting that money 
You don't need to be obsessing over the we. You already know how you want your body to look, right? Correct. You've been obsessing over it. You've been really, really wanting it. It's something you can't get out of your head of how you want your body to look. So you need to be more obsessed with what you're doing to get your body to look that way. To get your your dream uh, results to look. Yeah, the star. It's not going to be fast results. You're looking for fast results. It's not going to be that way. But when you see the results, it's going to be addicting. I'm telling you. Or for some of you guys, if you're already in that stage where it's, you're seeing results, it's addicting. It's addicting seeing the change. Like once you see that you can change something about yourself, even if it's something small, you get addicted to putting in that work and putting in that time and that effort, that dedication. You don't, you don't. You don't whine anymore about how long you're in the gym anymore because you see how the results are getting you effort or how the effort's getting you results, excuse me. Nobody cries anymore or whines about showing up at the gym late or going to the gym and staying there late or doing what you got to do. Nobody complains about sweat. Nobody complains about their outfit. None of that. Because when you see those results, even if it's something tiny, you could care less what you're wearing at the gym. Because you've seen what your body looks like in July versus what it looks like last July. Or even in like two, three months, if you go hard with the process and pay attention to the process and the consistency, you you will see results in a, in two, three months, to be honest. Nobody cries about being at the gym on a weekend type shit. Like you nor nobody cries about being at work on the weekend when you know what you want you're saving that money for. Well, be there and cry at the same time, then if you gotta do that and be a whiny baby about it. <laughs> you better be crying at work or you better be crying at that gym, I don't care. But you better not be crying in that fucking bed. <laughs> You better not be crying in that bed. You better not be. <laughs> it's kind of like the energy of like, I'd rather be crying in a, a luxury car. Like, come on now. Make it make sense. Yeah, what are you afraid of? You're not afraid of anything. You should only be afraid of yourself. That's the only person you should be discouraged. Like, if you're going to be... I don't know. If you're going to be in competition with anybody, you need to be in competition with yourself. If you're going to be um, intimidated by anybody, you need to be intimidated by... You need to be intimidated by yourself. You need to be... Like, damn, I'm like, I'm really a monster because I'm going so hard for my dreams. Like, I'm really like a filthy animal. I'm a monster. I can do this. I'm a beast. I'm wicked for real because I, I put in all this time. I got to be crazy. I got to be psycho because I want it that bad. That's what you should be afraid of yourself on demon time to get these results and to get yeah with the queen of wands coming out again yeah huh, it's like a finish line it's like the queen of wands looking at the finish line right there like you see it you want it so I don't care, you better be crying on the way there. No excuses, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles makes no excuses, or the Queen of Wands. There's no excuses. And if you're around people who make excuses, leave them behind. Leave them the fuck behind. Because he looked like, mm-mm. 
leave shit if it's your old self leave them about if they like to excuse things and make up i don't know what it is but leave that behind it's just dead weight literally especially if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight or gain healthy weight if it's dead weight you don't need it anymore lose it and i'm so serious let go of it it's putting more stress on you for you to keep holding on to it than for you to let it go. And this literally could just be bad habits, little bad habits as you have. Eating habits, drinking, going out, um, whatever. Six of Cups. Yeah, don't you want your flowers, Cloud Two? You deserve your flowers. And you are getting your flowers. I'm so serious. Those tears of pain are gonna be turned into tears of joy really soon. So. It's just gonna be a very emotional ride for you with the star, but you got it. You could be an Aquarius, Pisces, definitely could be a fire sign for sure. Aries, Leo, Sag, don't have to be, but that's just what I wanna come out. Um, but yeah. Tears of pain first and then tears of joy after. Cause you're no longer looking at influencers anymore. You're looking in the mirror and seeing your body change. You don't have to look at an influencer anymore because you are looking at an influencer in the mirror every day that you wake up because you decided to get up and do something about it. The day you decided to get up and do something about it is the day that your life changed just completely. Yeah, with the death. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah. Some of y'all need to let go of alcohol. I know it feels good to drink, but it's gonna feel better to see those results. It's gonna take a little longer to get those results other than drinking, because you know you feel it right after you drink and have a few drinks, right? But it's gonna be better and it's gonna be worth it to see the slower results of the edamorphines when you start to see that change, I'm telling you. It's gonna be way more worth it than getting a fast, um, I don't wanna say facts fix, but getting like a false praise, a false like result. Cause honestly, alcohol can make you feel sexy. Like it does get you in that like, confidence but it's fake confidence it's false confidence alcohol gives you that false confidence but once you like once you keep up with yourself and keep doing like what i was saying with this queen of wands energy once you see those results you don't need a drink of wine you don't need alcohol to feel confident because you're sober looking in the mirror and seeing how sexy you is You don't need drugs for the f false confidence. You don't need alcohol for the false confidence. Don't leave that for the false confident people. Look at him, false confident. Leave that type of stuff, those substances for the false confident people. That's what they. That's what it's used for. That's what they need it for. That false boost of ego. You don't need that once you start doing the real thing. Nobody needs that once they start. Yeah. What I need to drink for and I look this good and I feel this good about myself. I feel so good about myself because I got up. I chose to wake up one day and do something about it. That alone gives me confidence because I didn't want to do it, but I still did it. I had the confidence to do it. I had the energy. I put the, my own battery in my back to get up and do the things that I said I was going to do. 
I ain't just talk about it. I was about it, and I've been about it, and I'm still about it. And that's confidence right there. Confidence is where you can talk that shit, and you got it to back it up. You don't even need to talk that shit. But if you want to talk that shit, you got the results right there to back it up. So you don't need that false representation. You don't need that false boost. Like, huh, So we got the three of pentacles. You guys know what I've realized? I realize I'm getting a lot of guys on my channel. Like men on my channel. I don't even... Honestly, I didn't even really want to show my face for another reason because of that. Because I feel like now that I'm about to get 10K, it's a little weird because I'm getting men on my channel and I don't even read for, for men. Like, or like, uh, but I, I just started to see that. And they're like leaving like comments, um, like bad read. And I, I think I said Happy Mother's Day and they were like, you better do a... Um, Father Day's post. Like, where y'all even coming from? I don't even read for men. <laughs> I don't know why I came up in this read. Maybe it's significant. Maybe, I don't know. Men are rude. Like, try to be rude. Oh, okay. For some of you guys, it's coming out because you're looking better and doing better and feeling better about yourself. And confident women disturb certain type of men. So they like to... I just seen 1717 as I'm saying it. So that's confirmation. Certain men like to put those women down or have something to say about like try to pick out flaws um i don't know why it's kind of weird i think they have like mommy issues when they do that or like they feel inferior to women but um that ain't stopping shit over here and it ain't stopping nothing with you so but that just wanted to come out but yeah, just don't your 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 glow up is not putting focus into shit like that. Okay, cause you're too busy with yourself. Yeah. Oh my God, four of pentacles. Right when I said that, you're too busy with yourself. You're too cons consumed with your results. You're too consumed with yourself. You're big headed right now. You're confident right now. You're arrogant. You're cocky. You're a show off. You're too into yourself for anybody to tell you about yourself, negative or positive. It's like you are just too much in the mirror, looking at that ass, looking at that figure, looking at that face, looking at that frame. You're just too much in the mirror to worry about anything else. And I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm so serious in the most selfish way possible. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out for this one. I see things going easy, easy for you during this journey because you are staying out of the mix. Like if you see anybody like that has something to say or drama, you're going the opposite way. You don't even go into those types of areas anymore. You don't deal with people like that anymore. So that's making it, this process easier for you and quicker for you with the queen of um, wands. That's why I, like, I see you not responding to the hate. I see you not even reacting. Like Your face won't even change. And I'm so for real. Like, if anything, you're looking into the camera at yourself. You're looking into the mirror at yourself. So you're not worried about anybody else. You're not looking at anybody else. You're not looking at the next woman. You're not looking at the next man. You're into yourself. You're looking at how you look. I'm getting conceited energy, and I like it. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> okay, we got the wheel. Got the wheel. Yeah, you're not. Look how she's in the mirror. <laughs> look at her. And then look at him. <laughs> but yeah, look at her though. 
She's not worried about who's looking at her, who's not looking at her, who's around. None of the other women, nothing. It's not stopping nothing. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out. <laughs> And if some of you guys do have kids um, in a family of your own, you're worried about your kids too. But if it's not your kids and it's not you, you're just taking care of what you need to take care of. No more distractions for you. You have no more distractions at all. Not even in a relationship. You have no more distractions. You got these good looks and you know what come with it. So you know how to move around it and you know how to avoid it. Because good looks do come with, you know, negative energy. There is a downside to being the baddest in the room. There is. Hermit. You get stalkers. There's really nothing in this. Well, I'll still cover it up. You get, you know, harassment left and right. Just because of your beauty. You know how weird that is? But that's the way it works. That's the way it works. You could just look good and feel good and you just get unwanted. You get harassed, man. You get get harassed, but. So before I close this, let me get one more card, but before I close this out though, I wanna say that because you're, you have this level of beauty, pile two, it's really important for you to take the necessary steps to protect yourself and to stay out of danger and stay out of harm's way. Because even though these people are obsessed with you and these people are being weird with you and stuff like that, um, they won't hesitate to harm you or kill you. And I'm so serious. Um, people like that are very needy and very unhinged when they feel rejected by somebody that is this beautiful so i would say just really take it things like that serious before it's too late for anybody like that has a level of beauty um just take it the signs very serious i know sometimes we like to ignore red flags but when you're beautiful and very very beautiful those red flags need to be taken serious because if they feel like you're walking out of their life or they feel like they're not getting attention, there's going to just be people online that don't even know you. If they feel like you're no longer, because I feel like you guys are no longer going to feed into it or you never have. They develop parasocial uh, relationships. Is that what it's called? Where they literally feel like they know you and that you guys have a relationship, but you probably have never met them or you probably only said hi to them one or two times but now they genuinely feel like they know you it's just very scary and i feel like you guys do need to take that admiration like that very seriously and i just seen two 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 so that's confirmation you need to take that seriously than just um flattering because people are really crazy it's not flattering it's 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 way far from flattering it's it's harassment. It's not okay. Do protection spells. Call the police. Get protection orders done. Do the necessary steps before the flattery easily turns into a missing person's case. Stuff like that. A stalking case. Like You don't want it to even get that further when you can do something to prevent it. Um, because like I said, it's 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 a thin line between admiration and flattery in a couple comments. I mean, compliments. Um, or even if it's not compliments, but it's hara little, little harassments. It's a thin line for how drastic it can get. 
and I want you guys in this pod to be safe and I want you guys to be protected and I don't want anything to happen to you guys I love you guys and I'm glad that this reading found you but yeah this energy is very difficult to thrive in especially with people that a lot of people actually act this way around people who have this level of stardom and beauty and uniqueness and talent and stuff like that and i feel like it's not fair but it is what it is and there's not a lot of laws that can protect you from like passive aggressive harassment and like online harassment and how uh, i don't i don't know but just take it seriously and just do whatever it is you need to do to protect yourself and always have you need to have very strict boundaries and have very very limited access to yourself and your home and where you live and stuff like that because i feel people are crazy and weird so yeah i'm glad this reading found you i love you guys if it didn't help and did sound like a situation please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hi pal three welcome to your reading so this will be your glow up so you guys know you're my special pal <laughs> oh, I say that. So I will pull like some extra cards for you guys. That might help. Well, sometimes I feel the need to say that you guys are my special pile. So you guys need some special messages. <laughs> what about these glow up? vulnerability so you're letting yourself be more vulnerable <sighs> signs yeah the signs to what you need to hear instead of being so defensive instead of being so triggered you are being more vulnerable to harsh truths but they are the truth just the truth in general even if it's soft truths you just are now opening yourself up or you are more open than you've ever been with just signs and synchronicities and the people around you and the path that you need to take to bring you to a higher dimension a higher destination for your true path your life's path your life purpose you're just very like open and vulnerable and very emotional right now i feel like you're also crying a lot um, especially around your period you're just crying and purging a lot around your period and just throughout the month i feel like around that time when your period is about to start you're very 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 emotional to downloads and to what you soak up and what you consume over the internet is very like intense it's so it's always intense for you pal three but especially around your period about to begin and on your period for sure you're just very vulnerable to I want to say entities, other people, relationships, and the internet is very intense for you. So I feel like a lot of people want to be around you in your period. A lot of people hit you up out of nowhere around your period. Like, And it could be family members, it could be exes, it could be friends. But I feel like because of how vulnerable you have gotten just period like just in general not just around your period but that wanted to come out um people are now very much attached to you and people are very drawn to you more than ever i feel like they've always been drawn to you but now that you've reached a level of vulnerability in your life you're more you're more you're definitely more vulnerable to attacks like psychic attacks definitely but you're more like you're more People want to have more access to you, animals, pet, um, animals, children, love interests, family members want to get in touch with you, want to stay connected to you. They feel drawn to reach out to you and to check up on you and see how you are. They want you to check up on them. They, they want your love. They want your healing um, energy around them. A lot of people are reg regretting what they've done to you also, Pal 3. They are very sensitive. When they're around you, they like to cry and um, I want to say energy dump, but not quite. It's like 
They want to be vulnerable and open when they're around you. They feel like you're a safe space for them. What else wants to come out? For a path there's glow up. You've reached a level of softness that is just very wanted and sought out by everyone around you. Everyone who comes into contact with you, they um they love this about you expression. They love your voice. People love your voice. They love how you speak to them. They love what you say to them. Like I said, it's a level of femininity and vulnerability that you've gotten to. What wants to come out of your glow up is just the level of femininity of how you express yourself and how you help other people express themselves. And they just are simply just, I want to say they're consumed with your energy. They're it's like a warm blanket in this pile. It's like your aura is a very warm blanket and it's just full of memories and it's full of cuddles and tea and high vibrations and just, <laughs> I don't know, light energy, comforting energy, love, like very mothering, very empress energy, very nurturing energy where you just, everything around you can't, be dead anymore like nothing around you could be dead or unconscious like anything around you grows and grows more consciousness and just has a level of beaming light honestly this level of your life is very important and i feel like this level of your life is very Intense as well. What wants to come out for a pop please go up? The intensity is crazy. Meditation. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, it says to see more clearly, close your eyes. It's like a level of comfort and it's a level of resting energy, that empress energy where you just want to take a nap and you feel so comfortable to do so. You don't feel on edge anymore. You don't feel like life is difficult anymore when you get up under grandma's blanket or mama's blanket or your big sister's blanket or just like a feminine energy like that um, is what I feel. Like somebody of guidance, somebody who you know do no harm, somebody where you don't have to... You don't, it's not, you're not unclear of their intentions. You're someone who's very transparent and very expressive. But this is like also an a energy that needs to be protected at all costs. There's someone who needs to be protected. You're someone who's very vulnerable to psychic attacks and people um, harming you and harming your energy, even on accident, because you're so soft and you're so forgiving and you're so compassionate and you see the good in all things. You'll make the devil fall in love with you and want to change his ways. A demon will want to change his ways for you. Will want to, will get too blinded by your light that he won't even recognize, he won't even recognize himself to be dark anymore. Or he'll see that something is wrong. But I feel like you have this level of healing where I feel healed just reading for your energy. And I feel like I want to just talk to you and spend the day with you, if that's fine. <laughs> so let me get a couple more. Shine. Passion. Let me get one more. What is probably safety yeah <sighs> in the hurricane of life a strong foundation will keep you safe yes yeah, like if something fertility yeah it's like you have a lot of plants in your home or not plants you're just somebody that if something's going bad they want to run to you 
It's like somebody would want to die by your side and they'll be okay. Or if they get a wound, they know that you'll take care of it. They like, I need to seek out pal three because I know she has a remedy for this. I know she has a herb for this. I know she has something for this. So that's where I need to go. I know she has something for this. So you're like your neighborhood healer. You're the world's healer. You're the you have healing hands, all of that. What's about one love? Let me get one on here and then I'm gonna get a few more messages. Yeah, intimacy. I know she has a spiritual bath waiting. I know she has a potion, the gardener. Yeah, I know she has something in her garden that she can give me. Like, even if it's like a um, words of wisdom, it's like, I know she'll pull something out of her garden. Whether it's words of wisdom, whether it's a certain herb, whether it's a certain potion, whether it's a herb or a tea or medicine, it's medicine. People come to you for medicine. You are medicine, you're walking. Ooh, I just like a breath of like fresh air. Like I feel like you'll just guide me in the right direction. There will always be signs to guide you on your true path. Yeah. So people meet you when they're in need of. People meet you around like when they're in their darkest moments or they're about to go in their darkest moments. And their soul is seeking out help. Their soul is seeking out, spiritually is seeking out something, or they feel like it's something, but it's really someone, it's you. So I feel like a lot of the time people reach you when they need you the most. But you also need to realize when people are using you after that though. Don't just have people hitting you up when they need you the most, but when it's the other way around, they can't really do anything for you unless they're paying you or unless it's like you feel like doing something out of the kindness of your heart that day. But you can't just keep doing things out of the kindness of your heart. If they aren't giving you something in return, you need to be giving something. You need to be getting something out of return, whether it's money, whether it's a thank you, whether it's an equal exchange out of something. But otherwise, it's just them taking from you. But I feel like at this stage of your life, though, you aren't really giving to receive though. You're like at this level of peace that I see that even you giving isn't really disturbing you if you don't get anything back because the universe gives back to you. So it's not really them cheating you, it's them cheating them themselves out of something that actually can help them in the future. It's like them burning their own bridges, them burning their own blessings, but you're still gonna get something out of return. The universe is gonna bless you with something way bigger than what this person try to cheat cheat out of you can even offer you anyway. So the universe steps in and grants you an even bigger token, an even bigger blessing. Because you you went into it with the kindness of your heart and you went into it giving your all and healing this person and helping this person. So even if this person doesn't have the heart or the means to give back. Cause some people just can't afford to do this and that, but just cause they can't afford it, I don't mean they get to trick you, right? But whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. But whatever the reason of them not giving back to you, you're still gonna get way more from the universe. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. The universe still, the universe knows. You don't have to take a video of you feeding the homeless. You don't have to tell and show the world that you did this and that. The universe checks in with you. The universe knows. God knows. God knows everything that goes on in secret. So you don't have to count what you're doing for other people. Like I did this, you know, the universe counts it. So I feel like that's why you're able to be so gifted and to be so up on this pedestal where 
cheat deals and stuff like that don't even matter anymore and don't even hurt you the way it used to because you realize that you get that good karma and you get those blessings through something else, the universe. Yeah. some more messages for how things look queen of pentacles um financially you, you're gonna get you have more money or you're receiving more money more abundance more financial luck um you're striking gold in the financial department because of how abundant you are internally so externally it has to match with that so be prepared to be blessed financially and making count all that just to be yeah the gardener is like he has every yeah and this too it's like you have everything you need and, and want plus more to give to yourself and to give to the next generation i definitely see that because these two birds i feel like is also what are those birds called those those rainbow birds i don't know i think they're in the madagascar or something like that but those those birds are like look that bird up because i feel like it's significant for this pal I just saw fifteen, fifteen. So that's confirmation. Um, something to do with abundance. I also see you traveling too with those type of birds, because I don't think they're in America. But yeah, so I feel like with the gardener, that's every that's abundance. That's great abundance. So your glow up is being abundant, staying abundant. If you lose money, you make more of it. If you take a risk. You get more back. I see you just having like plenty and then some. What's about um magician? Manifesting anything you want. There's nothing you can't have. The door is completely wide open. You just have to ask for it and then prepare for it. Once you ask the universe for something, prepare for it because you already know it's coming. So make room for it. Prepare for it. Do what you need to do to prepare for it because it's definitely coming. You just need to make room because God, if you don't make room or prepare for it, God's going to be like, where, where is it going to go? I'm going to give you this, but you need to like do something about it first. You need to be getting up, getting moving. Because I see you having a lot of blessings already with the gardener. But it's like, I can give you, I can fill up your garden. I can fill up your garden to up to your neck. So it's up to you to figure out how all this going to fit in your garden, though. Because I can give you abundance until it drowns you. That's what God, that's what the universe is kind of saying to me to say to you. It's like. I could drown you in riches if that's what you want. Yeah, high priestess. And if you feel like that's what you deserve, I'm gonna give it to you. So I think the universe is like, just don't be greedy. <laughs> don't have bigger eyes than your stomach. Cause this woman here is getting fed. Just make sure it means something. Like make sure the blessing that you're asking for, like it mean like you're gonna do like it's it has purpose. Otherwise it's just greed. And what happens when you're greedy, you get sick. Then you start to like you then you start to not know when you're full. It needs to make sense what you're asking for.
Hi, um, Queen of Pentacles. I just see you being highly blessed in a financial way, taken care of. Having riches, having gifts. Very privileged. On your high horse, on a high pedestal. I need some more for how these glow up. Justice. You could be a Lib Libra, you could be an earth sign or have these placements. You could also be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, yeah, Libra. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be any sign. We did see Pisces, I think. Let's see. What wants to come out for Pal 3? Yeah, it's like God is saying, or the universe, both the saying, your angels are saying, I can give it to you. But make sure you really want it first. Make sure you, this is something you want. Not because other people have it or you want to, you know, make sure you need it and you want it. Because I can bless you tenfold. I will bless you tenfold, but is this going to make you happy? What makes you happy? It shouldn't be the blessings that make you happy, pal three. Don't ever get to a point in your life where the the abundance is all that can make you happy. Because it's like people really lose themselves when they get to a level of abundance where it's like they think that's the meaning of life or they get caught up in the glitz and glam. But it's like, who were you before the glitz and glam? What made you happy before the glitz and glam? What made you happy before you could afford all of this stuff? Was it just like a nice sunny day walking with the ones you love, just buying a dollar ice cream? You never want to lose yourself in the hype because you're very, very beautiful on the inside. Very beautiful on the inside, and that's very rare. Very, very, very rare. You're one of a kind. So, yeah, your next globe is just being very abundant and able to afford the things you couldn't afford before. You'll be able to afford that, and you'll be able to splurge on yourself and receive gifts from everyone, including yourself, and just be all dolls up and put away with the Queen of Pentacles. But just make sure... These are the things that you want to happen. These are the things that make you happy. And make sure the little things also still make you happy. And yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I love you guys and I'm proud of you guys. Um, I'm happy this video found you, but I'm gonna close your reading out here. So if it did help and it did sound like a situation, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next post.